All right, guys, we are back with another watch video. Now, this is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to go through all of the specs, but I am going to talk about my impressions of this watch. I'm going to compare it to a couple of other watches to give you an idea. Um, yeah, so let's just dive into it. <clears throat> if you saw my unboxing and from the title, you know that this is the MRG Titanium G-Shock Square. Is this the ultimate Casio Square? Probably. Now, look at this. The box is a wooden piano-style box with a black lacquer, um, nice kind of printing inside. I mean, this, <clears throat> this is on par with my Omega boxes. Honestly, it, it's truly on par with those style boxes. And, and there's a cover to this, but in the interest of time, I just left that over there. So we'll zoom in really quick here. This is a completely titanium watch. And yeah, the price, it's $3,500. Just get that out of the way right now. I didn't talk about that on the unboxing. I just left that. Um, yeah, just let that soak in for a second. Now, I have, this is a friend of mine, Jerry, who sent this in, and I will put a link to his Etsy site down below. He makes a bunch of glow-in-the-dark things. Um, he 3D prints, and he 3D printed this skull, and the eyes glow in the dark for me. So, I mean, it's pretty good size here. Um, he also made some coasters for the Random Rob uh, channel. And Rob was the one who sent this to me. This all glows in the dark, and it actually has a holder for the coasters and all of that. Put that back up out of the way. So this belongs to him. This titanium square belongs to me that I bought from Jerry. <laughs> so we're going to compare these a little bit um, once we kind of go through this one. This one was retailed at like 1800 maybe 2000 this one's at 3,500. They do have a black version of this that's $4,000. That looks basically like the one on the right. Okay. So I'm going to talk about these are made in Japan on what's called the G line. Uh, it is an assembly line that is shaped like a G. And I will put a picture of that up over here and a link put down below to a video of that assembly line. Um, it's an older video that I found on YouTube, but it doesn't talk about them building the squares, but it does talk about them building other G-Shocks on that line and shows them and whatnot. It's pretty cool. That's where the elite watches are put together at Casio. They do some of the Oceanus watches there. They do uh, all of the MRG line is done there. And there's a there's several different MRG lines. This is the first MRG square. It's pretty impressive. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. Uh, the coating and the finishing on this is kind of just that raw titanium, which looks really great and very different and unlike any other watch that Casio has, especially in the square line. They've done metal squares before. They've done the titanium one before with this DLC coating. Uh, they've also done a camo square, a blue camo square, the Trixie um, with multicolor square. But they've never done one that's just kind of a raw finish, if you will. And it looks great and it feels great in the hand these are super light um let me just weigh these really quick i did a full video on the black one and let me get a weight on the black one uh it's 3.5 ounces my scale just does ounces i gotta convert it you guys can convert it to grams if you like 
but it's super light, super, super comfortable, the titanium ones. These are basically the same exact weight. They have a little bit different uh, module inside, but I'm going to link down at the down below too to a video that Random Rob did on this exact watch because he shipped it to me after he did that video where he goes through a lot more of the actual specs and which module it uses and a bunch of that stuff. So I'm just going to kind of push you over to him. He can use the, the, the views also. <laughs> All right, maybe not really. He's got 60-something thousand subscribers already, but go check out that video because it's done a lot more on the specifics of this watch. I wanted to really kind of compare it and just talk a little bit about the feel and whatnot. So another thing that's different between these two is not just the finishing and not just the movement, but you can see on the dial, um, this one has some red accents, this has gold accents, these buttons are gold. So this is this was originally called the Stealth Wealth because it looks like a normal G-Shock Square, uh, but it was almost $2,000, okay? This beats it because, well, this looks like a normal square, but it's obviously more money. It also has, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more on this. It has the MRG logo, which looks like it's applied it's really hard to tell. And then up here, this shock resistant almost looks like it's applied also. And then the finishing on this bezel, the bezel is a little bit different style or grade of titanium than the rest of it. So that it has more wear resistance around that bezel. What's cool about this case here, the head of the watch, is it's 25 individual pieces. Uh, and I'll put up here in the corner a exploded view that I found. It's actually of the black one, I believe. Um, but you can see all the different pieces there in that picture. And then if we zoom back in on this watch, what's cool is like that little, you know, this whole piece here, the T and whatnot, are multiple individual pieces they're coming out with another version that's black with the blue accents so all of these little pieces here are individually anodized blue or coated blue i don't know if they're anodizing the titanium or how they're achieving that blue color but it's all black with blue hardware blue um corner guards if you will and these corner guards kind of use um, some springs to help isolate the movement from your bumps and whatnot. That's where you get that extreme shock resistance to it. It's just really cool. Okay. So now the big elephant in the room where the question is, is it twice as good as the original titanium square? Now you can get these less now. These are maybe a eight hundred to twelve hundred dollars, depending on condition and where you're buying it. Um, probably, you know, call it about a thousand bucks nowadays. And you can probably get a discount on these and get it under thirty five. But we're just gonna go with that eighteen hundred and thirty five hundred dollar mark. So, is it really double the watch? No, it's not double the watch. Is it worth more than the one on the right? I think it is because it feels more premium. And it's really going to be hard to show that on video. I think that the, the first thing is the finishing being that raw, I think looks a little bit better. I mean, it just makes it feel a little more premium because it is unusual, okay? The clasp is a little bit different. It does say MRG and it does have a lock on there. And I'll explain the lock here in just a second if you're not familiar. Um, but it just is overall, I think, a little bit better quality and a little bit better, you know, just a little higher end. It feel you can feel that in your hand. 
you can't tell by looking for sure. Um, it just feels a little bit better. I, I don't know that I would have spent money. I wouldn't spend $3,500 on it. I don't think that it's $3,500 worth, but this is not going to be for everybody. It's neither of these are for everybody. The everybody watch would be more like this one over here. That's more of the plastic, you know, resin type with a metal case back on the combi bracelet. So this is a great, you know, maybe $200 watch, $150 watch. Or you could go with a, just a regular G-Shock Square in resin. This one is a little bit more because it's all glow-in-the-dark um, band and case. But a regular one, you can get a regular G-Shock Square for like 40 bucks, all in resin and plastic, which is a great watch. Or you can step up to something like this on the combi for, call it 200 or you can step up to here used for about a thousand. Or if you're a total Casio G Shock Square fanboy and you want the best of the best, you get this. It's definitely a cool watch. I'm not going to lie. I wear my regular Titanium Square a lot. Now, I did not size this. I'm going to let Jerry size it for him. But here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It feels great. Now the lock here, so it's got the double pushers or you can secure it with the lock and now you can't accidentally unlock it. <clears throat> Is that a necessity? No. I have worn this one a ton with its just standard double pusher. And it's never once unlocked, unhooked for me. So, but that is just a, a feature that all of the MRGs have is they have that lock there. That's just a thing, which is cool. Now you do lose a micro adjust. You have only three micro adjusts when they put the lock in, whereas normally you'll have four. Okay. Not a big deal. Because you have some uh, half link here and regular links. So you can size this perfectly. And it is pin and collar. So it's a little bit tougher to, to um, change than just screw links or whatever. Another difference that I did notice is the light. And let me see if I can activate that and show that on screen. Is the light is a little bit different shade or a little bit different hue, if you will. It's actually kind of tough to, I'm not sure that you notice it really on the screen. A little bit. The uh, regular titanium square was a bit more blue, where the new MRG is just a little bit more white, if you will, with a hint of blue. So Jerry, thank you very much for having or letting Rob send this over to me first. Um, it's really cool to have the trio here and be able to really kind of handle them all. Okay. Now this one will link to your phone. It gets its radio signal from the atomic clock. So it's always accurate. It's solar. You know, all of these are all the same, which is very cool. Uh, actually, I don't know if this one has Bluetooth. Oh yeah, it does. So these all kind of have the same movement or module, if you will. This one has the negative display. These have positive displays. So they're a little bit easier to view. But really cool watches. If you're a Casio fan, if you're into titanium watches, which I certainly am. I love a titanium watch. You really can't go wrong with a titanium square. And if you want the best of the best... You really got to go with the MRG. I think it's a really cool watch. So let me know down in the comments what you think about a $3,500 G-Shock Square. Wow. It's something, all right? So thanks for watching, guys. Go check out um, Jerry's Etsy site and get yourself some 3D printed glow-in-the-dark cool, cool stuff. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.